Hello, my name is Shivani. I am one of the new Wyzant tutors here, and I am here to help with a physics problem involving electric potential energy. So let's take a look at the question first. Using a high-tech microscope, a scientist is studying two protons in the nucleus of a uranium atom. He noted that they are nine femtometers apart. What is the potential energy in joules associated with the electric force acting between the two protons? So this is my setup here. So first we should note down the formula for electric potential energy. Um, let me just double check this real quick. Sorry, um, my apologies. It's been a while since I've taken physics and I'm still kind of trying to brush up my memory. So yeah, um, it's K times Q1 times Q2 over R, like I wrote over here, where K is 9 times 10 to the 9 newtons times square meters over coulomb squared. That's our constant that we use. Q1 and Q2 are the charges on the two protons, which is... 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs and I had to look up that value and r is the distance in meters between the charges notice that they gave the distance in femtometers it was nine femtometers in the problem and since one femtometer is 10 to the negative 15 meters the distance in meters will be 9 times 10 to the negative 15 meters. And so now that we have these values, we can go ahead and just plug and chug to calculate the electric potential energy. So that would be 9 times 10 to the 9 newtons times meters squared over coulomb squared times 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs times 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs divided by the distance 9 times 10 to the negative 15 meters. So now notice how the units cancel out in the equation. Let me use a different color. So Coulomb squared at the denominator cancels with Coulomb times Coulomb. And then we have meters squared over here at the numerator and then meters down here at the denominator. So these two are going to cancel out. So the meter coefficient will be 1. So then let's plug these numbers into our calculator to see what the numerical value would be. Right, so I got 2.57 times 10 to the negative 14. Let me just quickly double check that. All right, so my final answer that I ended up with for the potential energy is going to be 2.57 times 10 to the negative 14 
newtons times meters. And newtons times meters is the same thing as joules. So this is what our final answer is going to be. And then I'm not sure how many significant figures they wanted you to round your answer to, but you can round it to 2.6 times 10 to the negative 14 if it's two significant figures. And if you only want one, you can round it to 3 times 10 to the negative 14. So yeah, so this is what your final answer is going to be. And real quickly here, um, before I wrap up the problem, I'm going to just write down some formulas that might be worth uh, knowing as you study electricity and physics. So, so we already determined that electric potential energy is K times Q1 times Q2 divided by R. Now, we also have electric force, which is K times Q1 times Q2 divided by R squared. Then we have electric field from a from a charge, from a point charge, which is going to be K K times Q over R squared. And then lastly, we have electric potential in volts which is k well from a from a point charge which is k times q over r And let me just write down the units of these other values real quick. So electric potential energy is measured in joules. Electric force is going to be in newtons. Electric field is going to be in newtons per coulomb. And then electric potential is in volts. All right, so these are the four key formulas that I highly recommend that you memorize um, for your electricity unit. And I'm also going to write down what K, Q, and R stand for in all these formulas. So K is the constant, 9 times 10 to the power 9. And that's going to be newtons times meter squared. Over coulomb squared. Q1 and Q2. Are the charges in coulombs.
And then R is the distance from or between the charges in meters. Now, the reason I wanted to point out the units is because they're very important. As long as you have K in uh, this numerical value with these units, Q1 and or Q2 measured in coulombs and R measured in meters, you're going to have potential energy in joules, force in newtons, electric field in newtons per coulomb, and potential in volts. So again, it's very important that you pay attention to units. And just like in this uh, problem that we did, we had to do some conversions. We had to convert the distance to meters in this problem since it was given in femtometers. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for this uh, lesson. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. And I hope this helps out. Have a good day.